what's up guys back again with another video so uh yeah this episode we're going to be learning about interfaces in java and uh well interface it's um it's kind of complicated just because there's so much to it but it's not really that complicated so um yeah so the interface is a way to give a blueprint for classes by giving it methods that are pre-designed for you to edit um, the functionality across classes so what that means is that you have basically an interface which is almost like a class and you don't you give them methods right you give them names and stuff like an abstract method basically but you don't give it a body basically like an abstract method and then when you use that interface in whatever class you want to use it in um, you can create the body for that uh, method um, and then if you use it in another class you can create a different body for that same method so you're basically overloading a method I guess it's it's like an abstract overloaded method. It's really weird, but um, you'll see it's pretty simple. So multiple classes can have the same interface, but the way the mets uh, but the way the methods of the interfaces are carried out can be different. So yeah, they're very similar to abstract classes. So the way I like to think of it is like a custom superclass. You have a bunch of classes with common methods. So what you do is you take them out and put them in the uh, take the methods out and put them in an interface then implement the interface into those same classes and add the methods back in. But this time you can customize the methods and they all have the same name though. So yeah, I mean, yeah. So to make an interface, you would do it the same way as you make a class. Um, so let's go ahead and, um, yeah, we'll make a new class first. So new Java class, we'll give it a name of wolf, I like wolves a lot. Okay, so we have the wolf class. And we'll make another one actually. We'll call this one polar bear. I love polar bears. Okay, cool. So polar bear and wolf both have things in common, obviously. So usually you maybe give them a super class of like animal, but this time we're gonna make a an, a uh, interface of animal. So if you're wondering how to make an interface, you just click new class, then click where it says kind. You change it to interface. There we go. So now we can give it a name of animal and treat it just like it's a class. Uh, give it a capital A, of course. There we go. So now we have a new interface and. As you can see, these are all different, right? The green is an interface, it has an I, and these are classes because it, it has a C, okay? So anyway, um, the interface, we can, like I said, make multiple methods in it. So we're gonna give it a method that you wanna serve some common function for uh, these animals. So what can animals do? What can, what can both these animals do that they have in common? Um, they can walk, um, let's do move. That's more broad, move. Because if it was a snake, snakes can they can't walk, but they can slither. So move would be more broad and it make more sense. So void move, and just like that, just like you would make an abstract method, I believe. So yeah, you don't give it a body, so you just end it like that. So let's try giving it a body. We are we just get an error. We we can't do that. So he says interface abstract methods can't have a body. So it literally is an abstract method, I guess. So there we go. So we have move right. So that's all good, right? But let's let's go ahead and create another one by the way. So void. Um, so it can move, it can, let's do die. That's kind of kind of dark, but oh well. So, so now what we do have to do is we have our methods, that's good, right? But we have to link it to our uh, classes before we're able to use these methods, okay? So Wolf, how, um, how we would implement this is actually by doing implements, implements and then the interface name. So animal, oops, animal like that. So we get an error here because you have to, once you enter, um, implement an interface, you have to add the methods that are inside of it. You have to add these. And why? Well, we didn't give it a body, so that's why we have to add them. So we have to give override them and give them a body, basically, okay? So we have vo uh, void move, so we have to add that one, move, uh, public void move. It, ha um, it has to be um, public void. It has to be public, I mean. So anyway, um, um, so we, we have it here. So now we have to do is implement the method. So that's just um, giving it a body, right? Um, so move, let's do um, so a wolf starts to move. Okay, so that's all pretty simple, right? So and then we still we still have this error here because we didn't implement the other method. So die, so public, it already is suggested here. So we could just do that. And you don't have to have override here, but you can if you want to. Um, so the wolf has perished, right? All very simple and get the hell out of my face. 
So there we go, the error has gone away and we have our new methods here, right? But let's go ahead and do the same for polar bear. Implements animal, it's all the same thing, right? And we get the error, of course, so we have to implement the method. So public void move the polar bear starts to move slowly. So we don't get an error because it's overriding basically, um, not overriding, but um, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, so let's add the second one. Oops, not good. It died, <laughs> just keep it simple. Okay, so there we go, we have our methods here again too. And so yeah, all is good right there. And um, yeah, so we can go ahead and uh, make our objects like normal, right? So wolf, wolf one, or an, let's do animal one equals new wolf. There we go. And then do polar bear, animal two equals new polar bear. There we go. Pretty cool. So let's do our methods here. Let's call them. So animal one dot uh, move, and then animal two dot move. And let's do animal one, animal one dot die animal two dot die there we go so now we have our method so let's test it out and good that works uh, so we get all the things that we wanted right and uh, yeah so by the way it does have to be public I just remembered it does have to be public whenever you implement the methods from your interfaces so anyway but let's say we have another interface how would we add it you just do comma and then add the, the name of the segment so animal animals you know that was the name of another interface so it's, that's how we would add another interface okay so now we have something called interface references which is basically like um object references but i haven't really gone over that because i don't really understand it that much but this is basically that it's pretty simple actually in this way so to do an interface method uh, we could do uh, let's do we don't need these but so we declare an object of the type of the interface so animal that's our interface right then we'll give it uh, animal three equals new, and then we can give it a type of whatever uh, we can choose which one we want. So new wolf. So that's the. Uh, I'll explain in a second. So the reference is this. This is the reference, I guess, the interface, and then the object is this. So it's like connected somehow. I don't really understand the mechanics of it, but yeah. So that means the interface can call from here. But the catch is you can't. Um, let's add a, a new method to here. We're making a, a uh, non-abstract method. Um, it, it doesn't have anything to do with the interface, so um, we're just adding a regular method like always, right? So void bark. Because wolves bark, I believe. <laughs> I don't th yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Oof. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we can do. Animal3 dot. And we have all these methods here, right? If we do this here, it shows that bark is available, but you can't really do that. So press tab and you get all this, this weird cast thingy right here. So the thing is, um, you can't do that. So the catch is basically, when you have an interface reference um, using the interface and then you reference it to an object, you can only access the interface methods, the ones that are in here. You can't access bark because it's it's made of the type uh, animal, which is an interface. It's nothing to do with wolf. So we can access, um, uh, let's see, die and move because those were declared in the interface, so we can access die right here. No problems here, right? So let's run that. And the cool thing is, I'll show you. So it's going to run this one in here, this die. The wolf has perished, right? So that's what it's running. But let's say we change this to polar bear. It's going to run the die within polar bear. So that's really that's what that's what's really cool about this is that um, depending on which object you're you're hooking it to, it'll call the one that you overloaded in that one. So it's like I find that just so magical. <laughs> so, um, so that's that's how that works basically. So um, you can't access any method declared inside the class if it's a interface reference, but you can access the interface methods that were overrided inside of the class. And yeah, so that's really cool. I guess if you don't understand, just play around with it. So um, yeah. So any class that implements an interface but does not implement its methods must be abstract because if we remember abstract, they don't have body. So let's say, um, what I mean by this, so we have this here, that's all good. And wolf, let's say wolf um, 
doesn't implement the methods and we have this error again, right? So if we ne if we don't want to do want to give them body, what we do is declare this as abstract. So public abstract wolf. Oh, wait, let's go back. Ah. We actually got rid of class, so it would actually go in front of class right there. We get an error resist access repo, whatever. So we um, have it before class abstract class, and uh, we can still have this. This doesn't have to be. Um, if we remember, it can still have an abstract class can still have concrete methods, but the um, the interface things in here they didn't have to be declared. They didn't have to be implemented. They didn't have to be have a body basically. So. Um, if it's abstract, you don't have to implement these methods. But if it has a subclass and it's not abstract, it will have to implement those methods, basically. So um, I guess I'll show you. So if we implement, um, no, if we if polar bear extends, extends goes before implements, by the way. So extends, if that extends wolf like that, then wolf, um, let's get rid of this. We get an error because since wolf is um, the superclass of polar bear, Let's get rid of this actually. Since wolf is the superclass of polar bear and wolf is abstract and it didn't declare implement these methods from the interface, the polar bear will have to implement the methods, like I said. So um, if we paste, no, I didn't have them. So void uh, move moving. We get an error here. Was this? Moving polar bear clashes with move an animal, attempting to assign weaker access privileges. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe it has to be public. Public. That's why. <laughs> Sorry. It has to be public void move, right? And then uh, public void die. Dead. So that's that's how it works. Super class. It's abstract, so the super subclass has to implement the methods basically. But don't forget, implementing methods means that you're taking the interface methods and giving them giving them a body that's all that means when you implement methods so that, yeah that's all that so now we have inter um, nested interfaces so if we have an interface inside of an interface right oh and sorry not an interface inside of an interface it means like a, a class that has an interface inside of it basically so it's going to um, get rid of this extension let's go into polar bear so inside of polar bear we'll have these methods here which is fine and we'll actually get rid of them and we'll have an interface so public interface um, nested thingy so inside of this interface we could have uh, our methods like always so void <coughs> do thing oh we can't give a body to interface of course don't forget that <coughs> so there we go Oh, that's why we can't have that there. That was an accident. So yeah. Um. So anyway, so we have a nested interface, which is a, again an interface inside of a class. Um. So let's say we want to access this inside of a, or implement this interface inside of another class like Wolf. Okay. So do that. Um, let's get rid of this because <clears throat> we're not dealing with animal anymore. We're going to be dealing with a nested thingy. That's the one we want to add to Wolf. Okay. So if we want to implement nested thingy, we do implement polar bear dot nested thingy. So the class name dot and then the interface name. So that's how we would access the, uh, let's get rid of this. So now we have an error because we didn't implement, uh, what was it called, do thing. So we have to implement do thing, public void do thing, thing done. So there we go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty simple, right? You just put the class name and then the interface if you do that, right? So yeah, now um, we have interface variables so uh, yeah, sorry about this um, episode length. It's very extensive, but we're almost done. So for interface variables, let's go back to animal. Let's have um, a variable here. We'll say it's int um, gravity equals 9.8, I think. I totally forgot. I'm pretty sure it's 9.8. So we get an error here. Oh yeah, because it's a double. Oopsie. But um, what you have to realize, whenever you declare a variable inside of an interface, this is actually going to be a final. This is a, a constant, if you remember what finals are. This is a constant. So let's go into Polar Bear and uh, let's get rid of this nested interface. And we're going to implement animal into Polar Bear. So animal. And so we have to, you know, do what we got to do here. So we got to add in. Let's get rid of this one. So we'll just implement move, right? 
So void move public void move. Can't forget that. Public void move moving. Okay, cool. But anyway, so now um, we can access this variable if we want to gravity, right? So let's test it out. Let's see if it's actually a constant. So public void uh, thing. Oh, wait, no. Change number. You know, just something random, right? So let's do gravity. And it shows here that it's 9.8. Pretty cool. So gravity is equal to 40 or 25. You can't do that because it's a constant. See, it's a final. So it knows. Um, so you don't have to actually have explicitly a final here. I think I used that word right. So you don't have to have a final here. So fi I don't know if I forgot if the final goes before or after. But anyway, um, any of you just know this. Any variable inside of an uh, interface is going to be final, which is a constant. You cannot change it. So that's that. Pretty simple, right? Okay. So the last thing we're going to learn is going to be extended implement. Uh, <laughs> sorry, extended interfaces. So. That's when we have two interfaces that extend each other, right? Pretty simple. So let's make another interface here. So Java class interface, and we'll call it um, hmm, human being. Hum how about human race? That's more broad. So human race and animal are two interfaces. So let's give this a, a method. So void um, speak, just something stupid and simple, right? And then we have animal. Let's get rid of this constant here. So let's say animal extends human race. Okay, so that's all very simple, right? And normally when you extend something, you would have to um, maybe um, we can access the the methods of the the superclass. But um, the point is, whenever you extend animal, whenever animal extends human race, and we use animal inside of here. We get an error because not just because of this, but we have to not only implement the method inside animal, but now we have to imp implement the the superclass method um, of human race. So polar bear, we're implementing move because it's uh, it's implementing animal, right? Um, but animal is also extending human race, so that means we have to implement not just move, but also human race, which is speak. So let's go ahead and add speak public void speak. There we go. Spoken. So there we go, right? So that's how we do that. You just have to make sure you implement the extended method uh, interface also. Um, so hopefully that's not too confusing. But anyway, so that's pretty much it for interfaces. Actually, not. We're gonna have, we're gonna be going over more stuff next episode and the episodes beyond that. And so yeah. So what are the benefits of interfaces? So I'm not completely sure, but sometimes you want your code to have some certain method, but not to be too specific as in how to do that functionality. So it's like a blueprint. Uh, the interface provides the name and the parameters and the return type, and you just tell it how to do it later on inside the class. That's all I really know about it, but you can uh, research some more if you really want to. So um, sorry if that was a bad explanation, but yeah, hopefully you get the point of uh, interfaces now. So that's how you do that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you liked it. Don't be afraid to leave a comment if you need help or anything. I would love to help you. I know this might have been a little bit confusing, but yeah. And we also have a, dis a Discord in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Maybe join it and say what's up. And then, uh, yeah, so leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and peace.